We've been a leader in banking for more than 100 years. You'll find us here, at home, on your phone, and everywhere you go. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Sponsored by Renaissance Bank. Good morning and welcome to Daily Journal News Break for Wednesday, October 18th. I'm your host, Chris Kiefer. Let's take a look at the top news and sports stories from Northeast Mississippi. But first, let's start with your weather forecast. Today, we're looking at sunny skies with a high of 74 and a low of 45, a 10% chance of rain. Thursday, sunny with a high of 77 and a low of 48, a 10% chance of rain. Friday, partly cloudy with a high of 79 and a low of 55 and a 10% chance of rain. Saturday warms up a bit, partly cloudy skies with a high of 80 and a low of 62 and a 10% chance of rain. Let's take a look now at today's top headlines. Students at Pierce Street Elementary School took a trip back in time to their school's beginnings on Tuesday morning. The Tupelo School celebrated its 50th anniversary and invited the community to attend. Students dressed up for a wax museum that covered Pierce Street's history, walking attendees through principals, mayors, superintendents, and other important figures associated with the school over the past 50 years. The students also recited facts about the year 1967, for instance, that is when the first Super Bowl was played and Lyndon B. Johnson was serving as President of the United States at the time. Harry Armstrong, who was the school's first principal, was among those in attendance. Armstrong said being back at the school and walking through the exhibit was a joyful experience. Meanwhile, former third grade teacher Jan Key said she was thrilled to reunite with former colleagues and visit the school. Key said she wouldn't have missed the event for the world. U.S. Senator Thad Cochran returned to Washington on Tuesday after delaying his trip earlier in the week due to health issues, as reported by Mississippi Today. As Senate Appropriations Chairman, Cochran is needed at the Capitol to chair key budget meetings. Republicans are looking to pass a budget and tax cuts in the coming weeks. The 79-year-old Republican senator had been recovering at his Oxford home from a urological infection since mid-September. He had said two times previously that he would return to Washington on Monday as the Senate returned from a recess. His chief of staff announced on Monday, however, that Cochran was still too ill to return. That sparked speculation about the senator's future. The statement issued by Cochran's office on Tuesday said the senator will continue being treated in Washington. It noted that could affect his work schedule. As appropriations chairman, Cochran plays a key role in finalizing the federal budget. A new parking lot will quadruple the number of public parking spaces in downtown Saltillo. Mayor Rex Smith said the new lot will add about 80 spaces and will make a big difference. There are currently about 24 spaces along Mobile Street. The new lot is located just south of Mobile Street on land donated to the city last December. The flat parcel of land required minimal work to get it ready. City crews installed drainage and the Lee County supervisors provided the ground asphalt. The bulk of the 1.1 acre parcel will be used for parking. The city did save two large shade trees in a grassy area for future use. Smith said the entire project will only cost the city about 30 grand. And that money is coming from the sale of buildings that were also donated to the city. And in sports, Corinth High School senior Michael Bogus is using football to raise money for pediatric cancer research. The senior kicker is raising money through Kick It, an organization that has raised more than $5 million for cancer research. Kick It is powered by Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation. The idea was brought to Bogus this summer when he was attending a National Coles Kicking Camp. At all of their camps, Coles representatives asked the players to participate in the fundraiser. Bogus' campaign started with a $1,000 goal. As of Tuesday, he had surpassed that goal and sits at $1,268. Bogus now hopes to raise at least $2,000. The campaign is being funded in two ways. People can pledge a certain amount of money per point Bogus scores on the season. They can also donate a flat fee to the cause. On the season, Bogus is 0 for 2 on field goals and 21 for 24 on extra points. The fundraiser is still accepting money through social media or on the website kick-it.org. 
That does it for Newsbreak on this Wednesday. Don't forget this show is just one of the many online offerings from the Daily Journal that gets you news off the page and on the go. Listen to the Prep Rally podcast with Brad Locke and Dalton Middleton talking about high school sports in Northeast Mississippi. They'll have a new episode out this afternoon. You can find it in iTunes, Google Play, podcast apps, or at preprally.djournal.com. Each story discussed today on Newsbreak can be found in your daily journal or online at djournal.com, where you can also find a new episode of Newsbreak each weekday at 7 a.m. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Kiefer. Have a great Wednesday.